This thing is hard. That's really bad. <laughs> Everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels. I am at Tops for Shoes in Asheville, North Carolina. I know you're probably asking why am I here? All the way from Lexington, Kentucky. The reason is they have a great online store and this is my favorite shoe place in the world so I thought I would share it with you. So come along. Today we're doing men's shoes. Um, this is the one that my husband absolutely loves. This is Piccolinos. It's more on the expensive side, 220. However, like he wears it all the time. The sole of it here, you could walk around Europe, you could be at work, you could be here and there, and you're gonna be so comfortable in this shoe. And plus it looks dressy and super fashionable. So highly recommend Piccolinos. Honestly, this entire brand is great. Um, I think he's even got some tennis shoes as well. So these are really popular and in style right now. The sole of it's nice and rubbery and cushy. So you can do whatever you want to. I think this will be perfect for my attorney friends. You can go to court, be stylish and comfortable at the same time. Um, they literally have everything here. So some of the brands I don't even know. Um, this is clearance, of course, but all of them have nice structured shoes. I think Rob has something very similar to this. 165, super cushy. And also this will be great if you have a higher arch. You can offload the area that has a lot of pressure. Um, to it, there's a nerve right there that you can kind of alter the lacing. That would be really comfortable for you. Any kind of laces can do that. And we should probably post a different video about that so I can show you how to do it at home. What you got? This is from Echo. Love it. How much do you love Echo shoes, Rob? I do, I have like multiple pair. Check this out. Okay, so for you guys that have custom orthotics um, that you wear in your dress shoes and tennis shoes, look at this. You can pop this out and slide it in there. I love how Echo um, doesn't have, like a lot of times whenever you pull the liner out, there's this just kind of flat, you can see the material of the inside. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. doesn't, they have another layer, a soft layer here. So that's perfect for people that have like three quarter length um, orthotics or inserts. Love it. Super cushy. Ooh, the sole of it's rubber. <laughs> Comfortable. Yay. And then, this is a rock port. Uh, I think, Rob, you have this one, too. I probably do. You do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is great extra depth. This is what I was talking about, how when you pull those liners out, there's no material there to protect oh, it from your foot. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So this is nice and cushy. If you have heel pain, um, there's something called a bursa that sits on the bottom of the heel. This has some extra cushion there for you. And plus, the rubber sole on the outside is perfect. So any hard materials, and a lot of dress shoes um, have those harder materials. Can you grab a shoe that has like that, a real hard sole? Yeah. So I can kind of. Absolutely. This is a hoka. Oh my gosh. This shoe is like flying off the shelves. <sighs> Probably three, two, three years ago was whenever I first heard of it. Every patient, especially my hospital workers, runners, they are addicted to the shoe. It's like you're walking on a cloud. Talk about heel pain. Um, I do have some patients that don't find it comfortable because they have a lot of instability in the ankle. And I feel uh, if they have any gait issues, they feel very wobbly on the, um, the back of their heel. And so this shoe is an irritant for them. But the sole of it, I mean, seriously, look how thick that cushion is. Come on. Oh, what's that? Looks It'll like fit I'm your orthotic easily too. Looks like I'm getting hopeless. This is what, I mean, so super cute. And guess what? I love that you picked this shoe up. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so this is the um, Bionic. So Bionic has the best marketing out there, kudos to you guys. Um, however, not every Bionic shoe is good. Um, I had her pick this now. This has almost like a compressed uh, wood in it, but also has a little bit of rubber, not much at all. This thing is hard. That's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> wood on wood, it's gonna be loud, right? Um, so for you men out there, this is probably a shoe, if you have foot issues, especially heel issues, I would not recommend. I do like at least the liner comes out. It's got a nice thick cushy liner in there too that you could slip in your orthotic. Um, but I would avoid these shoes because there's so much stuff out there. You don't need to pick up a shoe that has this kind of heel, personally. But it's a good looking shoe. It is a good looking shoe. All right. Olakai. Olakai. Yes, Olakai has started, um, I guess they started with 
like that slide on, mm -hmm. um, lots of rubber on the bottom, and now they have really upped their game. This shoe. It's like flip flops, what they started with, wasn't it? Okay, you're yeah, right. flip flops. Um, yeah. And so now they've graduated to this. One feature of this shoe is you can pop this guy down. Um, so if you're like boating or something like that, you just want to slip it on real quick. And the sole of it, rubber cushion, you get it. You kind of see also, don't forget my flex test, it passes. Um, oh, hi, good job. Let's walk around and see what else we got. Born. It's very. Boards are really good for people that have wider feet. Um, so you can hmm. kind of go online and check that out. Sperry's. You know, I know a lot of people love them. Just watch it. Okay, <laughs> other. This would be a better Sperry, not as flexible. Okay, super easy. Once you get started, um, I heard Birkenstocks. Here we go. Everybody loves Birkenstocks. They love it because it's a cork uh, material. It's open cell designed to absorb shock. So a lot of people like to wear them around the house. If you can, just grab the ones with the back strap, make your life easy. Otherwise you're gripping your toes to keep the uh, shoe on and you can give yourself plantar fasciitis, um, hammer toes, make your hammer toes worse, things like that. So just get the back strap. All right. Ugh, oh, oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> Ugh. Oh no. Oh wow. Is that that right there? I guess I'm this is a fantastic shoe. When did they start doing this? Uh, that's new for fall, from last fall. Love it. Yeah. Love, love, love it. Um, sole comes out. I have a pair of Ugg boots um, that I got a few years ago, and honestly, it's one of my favorite pair of boots. And I'm not talking about the fluffy ones that have all the stuff, you know, the ones that you guys don't wear your socks in. I'm not talking about those. <laughs> oh, those smell so bad. Wolverine, okay. Shoe the Bear is pretty good for them, too. This is cute. Shoe the Bear from Copenhagen. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, no wonder. Right? Yes. If you've been to Copenhagen, it's they're quite fashion forward. Right. Um, hard sole, though, so be careful. Okay. What's your... Okay. This is an Ultra. Ultra. So these guys are like hotcakes um, because look how wide it is here. Plenty of room, so if you have bunions, if you have Taylor's bunions, if you have hammer toes, you're gonna get a lot of um, extra room. Also, this is that's a little flexible, so again, if you have foot issues, I would test it, wear it inside for a while, and then take it outside, you know, to make sure it's not gonna cause you any um, problems. But I love the width on this. I mean, I can't think of another shoe company that has this width um, on their tennis shoes right now. New Balance, they're wider, but the Ultras is where it's out for the width. It's almost like it's, you know, the the way that the shoe's designed at the toe box here, it's really designed to look like what your actual foot looks like instead of fashion-wise what it they want it to look like, if that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> All right, um, they you. just came out with a children's one. Oh they my gosh, of course they did. Shoes. Yeah, I know. Of course they did. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, echoes. Lots of echoes. Well, you've got echo everything here. <laughs> These are good looking. They're hard. Okay, so as you can see, they have pretty much any and every brand you want. Um, locally, Dillard's is probably our best place for men's um, shoes, uh, specifically dress shoes, but you can definitely go online. But if you know your size, you can order. Look at this shoe. I mean, this is like nice. This is gonna be comfortable for just about anybody. All right, guys, hope you learned a lot today. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, comment below if you have any foot issues or if you have a shoe that you have a question about. That's why I'm here to answer all your questions. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.